With her bedwetting alarm training system, your child learns to be dry within 30 days. This leads to a more confident child, more relaxed parents, and avoids your child continuing to wet the bed into adulthood. Our system is moisture sensing underwear, which detects the first few drops of urine. This coincides with the sensation of the bladder being full as the bursting to go feeling persists for 20 seconds after initial bladder release. Our system is wireless, so the child has to get out of bed to turn off the alarm. While they're out of bed, they might as well go to the toilet. In order to solve the bedwetting problem, we need to know the root cause of it. Most parents incorrectly identify deep sleep as being the root cause of their child's bedwetting. Some parents may blame their child for being lazy. The root cause of bedwetting is an inability by the child to recognise that their bladder is full sufficiently to wake them up at night. This is due to a slight neurological underdevelopment in the child's brain that receives the message from the bladder. Our training system helps children to pay more attention to their bladder, which leads to dry nights and a more confident child. Stay tuned to learn how you can solve this problem. Motivating the child is key to success. This is achieved by sitting the child down and asking them what are their reasons for wanting to stay dry at night and their reasons why they would like to stop bedwetting and what they don't like about wetting the bed. By getting the child to verbalise their own reasons for learning to be dry at night, you strengthen their motivation. This is far more powerful than offering rewards. Make it very clear to your child that it is their responsibility to learn the skill of staying dry at night. Do a number of dry runs during the day in order to get the child to practice what they will need to do at night time. One, remove the transmitter. Two, cancel the alarm. Three, remove the underwear. Four, go to the toilet. This is important because we learn by repetition and it's important that the child goes to the toilet even if they don't need to. Put on new underwear, replace the transmitter, turn on the alarm and go back to sleep. Getting your child to repeat this process a number of times is very important because we learn by repetition. At night, get your child into the P45P routine. This is simply getting your child into the routine of peeing 45 minutes before they go to sleep. Resting for 45 minutes, which is either lying on the couch, but being physically inactive or in bed, and then pee again just before going to sleep. It's very important to test your alarm every night before your child goes to sleep. This is done by placing the two studs on the back of the transmitter against the metal strip of the receiver, like this. This ensures that your system is fully functional. Just before your child goes to sleep, trigger the alarm by pressing the plus button and ask what it is that they must do when they hear the sound. And the answer you're looking for is remove the transmitter, cancel the alarm, remove the underwear, go to the toilet even if they don't need to, replace the underwear, clip on the transmitter, turn on the alarm and go back to sleep. It is important to tell the child that while it is their job to wake up to the alarm, uh, the parents will help them for the first five nights. When the alarm goes off, go into your child's bedroom and gently raise their awareness so that you stretch their ability to wake in response to the alarm. This can be done by stroking their arm gently or whispering their name. Really the key here is getting them to recognise that the alarm is going off when they're asleep. Once your child starts waking in response to the alarm, they will typically still be wetting the bed. It is important that they follow the following steps. Remove the transmitter, turn off the alarm, take off the underwear, go to the toilet even if they don't need to go to the toilet, replace the underwear, 
replace the transmitter, turn on the alarm and go back to sleep. Over the next few weeks, you will notice the wet patch in the bed getting smaller and smaller. This is the child waking up in response to the alarm sooner and sooner. Your child will eventually wake up before the alarm goes off. It's very important to keep a record of your child's progress with our progress chart. Remember to encourage your child with lots of praise throughout the training. Keep using the alarm until 14 dry nights are consecutively achieved. Then your child is cured of bedwetting. Once your child is cured, hold on to the alarm because you may get a relapse in a few months time. But this is cleared up by applying the alarm again for only a few nights.